You have a 55-year-old accountant in Mansi who learned in Tyre Vadas. He's a very successful, <laughs> functional Eulacha person. And okay. He walks in every year, and the Chazan says, on the first night, he, his heart trembles, and he reaches for his Rabbeinu Yaina, because he really wants to do tshuva. And now somebody said to him, well, you know, why don't you come? Rabbi Jacobson's doing a musical Sichas. He walks in, and there's 19 guitars over there, and the vibe of the room is, wow, it's like a, the best Purim in his life didn't come to this. He's never going back to hear Mertzai Menucha again, and we relinquished, we forfeited that tremble in his soul for something. There are people who feel this is how they connect best to their souls and to the Rabbi Nishalel. Now, if it's something that's outside of halacha, obviously it should never be allowed. If it's something within halacha, is, does it become an obligation for clients? But I think just to delegitimize a person who may feel a much deeper connection in their own way, I don't see the value of it. And let me just say one more thing. That 55-year-old graduate of Tayyar Vadas, have an intimate conversation with him and ask him if for the last 55 years he ever felt a real love to God and to Yiddishkeit with a lot of serenity and tranquility. A lot of these 55-year-old people may tell you my relationship with God is one of dread Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and Elul are the worst days for me. All I wish is that they're over because I know God is building a big Gehenna just for me and my sins. So I just want to say that for some people, that dread and that fear turns into a torment. And it's really a Yiddish guy that is very, very restricting. Now, Elu Velu Divrele Kim Chayim. There is a Shita and there's a Mahalach in Klal Yisrael that focuses very much on that. Kavan, for some people, it's awesome and amazing, but just realize there's a lot of people who are suffering from a Yiddishkeit that they feel is well, what very, about very toxic. The Yeshiva.net.